Hi, this is Lynn Susak, and this is the video of church. I am talking today about my um, comparison with healing of several things, and one of them is I have a blog about when I conquered allergies, and allergies can be life-threatening. They can be mild, and I had allergies that were not... Um, life-threatening but they were kind of, they were dependable uh, we had I had them in spring and fall and what I'm learning now is that whatever you're fighting is no different than fighting anything they're all the same and I am focusing on for myself I, I have had several victories okay if you have had some victories I pray that you will get them out there on YouTube or send them to me by email. Uh, testimonies of how you, you know, had a miracle. So I have a, a blog called Lynn's Healing Room and the one called Unbelieving in Allergies. If you look that up, it talks about my first, it was basically my first battle with, um, healing of something believing by faith that it didn't really exist that's basically how I put it now that um, like Tony Myers talks about things um, are, are the things that we have wrong with us are really lies they're the body giving us misinformation and I agree with that and I wrote a blog about the brain parrot because it's very convincing to me based on experience and the other people's experiences um, that everything is curable. It's already cured because Jesus took the curse. Jesus is our cure. He's our double cure. And um, the same thing applies to everything that's, that we fight. And we just have to keep convincing ourselves of the truth. So when I first fought off allergies, it was because I got convinced that they were not real by Derek Prince, Derek Prince, not Joseph Prince, but Derek Prince, who is, has, I don't know how many books, and I happened upon one of his books called um, The Atonement, and where in that one he talks about how he transitioned from things that everything uh, should we should be healed of everything and he gives testimony in there about how he fought for healing of things and well what convinced him that everything should be healed and how he went from not realizing that and believing that to believing it and that convinced me so I started applying my faith my belief that we're supposed to not be sick to the first thing I did was allergies okay the symptoms is what what trips us up symptoms like itching eyes okay it's starting you know and then you your your first thing temptation is to say okay I'm getting allergies and you just prepare for it and you get your medicine out and you get your Kleenex out and you're like based on past experience this will be around for a while and you just suffer and what I decided to do this is back in 2014 and um, I started rebuking and at that time that's what I was doing assuming it was demonic which whether it is or not, it doesn't matter. I just rebuke it. It's demonic. It's it's the brain. It's the body malfunctioning. It's the body acting like a computer that's just giving you, you know, like stuff that you've been just seeing stuff on the on the TV, convincing your heart that they, these things exist. Seeing other people sick, so that you think that you have to be eventually. Um, this is how stuff gets into our heart, right? So even if something never, you never had it before, 
and your body starts doing stuff and you start finding a reason like well what does this mean you convince yourself of the lie and then when I started rebuking the allergies the symptoms left like immediately but then they come back and I go I rebuke it again the, the great thing was at that time those symptoms I was able to see leave and it didn't matter that they kept coming back I kept making them leave oh I'm on to something I told my husband at the time I'm, I'm still with him he's still the, the one that I'm talking about Mark <laughs> um, he and I have been learning together since we've been together and um, since 2005 but by 2014 was when I guess I you know wrote this blog not sure when I actually fought this off for the first time uh, probably yeah well anyway whatever whatever it started I don't know how long I've been fighting with and look, learning about healing so I started rebuking which is resisting the allergy symptoms well the process of that went on for I was successful but because my brain or my belief taught me and my body to to that would keep coming to me my according to what I believed at that time I, I would get these symptoms and I and I would they, so then I started rebuking them all the time and then over the next year or two I stopped believing in colds I stopped believing in um, everything that I could I stopped that I was ever experiencing I'm like nope that's under the curse and I, it's a lie I don't have to have it so the symptoms that come I would resist and I was getting some success and then every so often we would you know kind of fail and get a full-blown cold but it won't last very long it's all about what you believe you're gonna get what you believe so I no longer have any symptoms of allergies ever for, for, for a couple years I I'd get the itching and I'd be like no but so telling your body no is the correct thing to do because you're fighting your own belief it may not work right away but you gotta believe it it's true and you gotta do what you gotta do to convince yourself of the truth and speak only the truth that no these I don't believe in allergies anymore they don't really exist so I'm um, does that mean it, they can't affect your own body can kill you if you let it that's the truth so what I'm doing now the only thing that I could think of but there might be some things that I symptoms that I could just conquer one at a time but basically I'm at the point of this whole injury thing paralysis we're fighting the world of paralysis Tony has conquered it he didn't know how it happened so he sought the Lord afterwards how did I get healed and he was learning after he got healed I've been learning and concluding the same things he learned same Holy Spirit we started talking recently he's been healed and learning why did it happen how did I get healed and I've been learning and getting healed of lots of things and having a certain amount of success in my faith to the point where I'm very healthy but still not moving like I should be I'm still looking for improvement I have actually improved a lot and um, so I need to keep my my thing now is I don't believe in paralysis anymore paralysis doesn't really exist this is false this is a trick of the mind it's actually manifested but it's been you know it's gonna leave it's gonna leave like allergies it's no harder to get unparalyzed than it is to get rid of allergies you fight by faith uh, all you're doing is undoing believing in wrong things I'm 
believing. You gotta unbelieve in all that. Jesus took the curse. Jesus is the cure. He's the double cure. We believe that is the truth over our symptoms and those symptoms will leave. And you start looking for improvement. It's gonna come. It's there. And uh, I'm just like confessing I don't believe in paralysis anymore. I like I don't believe I didn't believe I stopped believing in allergies. Um, if you go to my healing room, it's called Lynn's Healing Room dot com and if you look at all the testimonies there I have a lot of testimonies and a lot of um, blogging of my my like revelations about getting healed so I've been healed <clears throat> I had a burn that healed that they said would not heal without surgery um, you just have to look through my over a hundred blogs and fill yourself with correct thinking and believing and start resisting start resisting what are you suffering with panic attacks go in the name of Jesus today I had to point it out for my husband but he he had um, I wouldn't like to say he suffers from anxiety but that he has been dealing with for over a year something that is just bodily it's like a subconscious starts you know and the best way to describe it is like anxiety but he's you know been trying to resist it and it's really all up here and I noticed that I said because he was getting victory over it and then it started coming back so I'm trying to like honey it's just your body it's your brain it's we're gonna get over this and uh, he goes through periods during the day so it's getting feels like it's getting coming back again he was getting the victory and it's coming back this is a battle that goes on until we actually believe you know and understand it's kind of like an understanding I said honey you're having a panic attack I can tell it's like I'm not having a panic attack I go okay and I'm not paralyzed which I believe so he goes okay so, but as soon as he said, I'm not having a panic attack, that's when he started feeling better, like within a minute or two. And it was going on for a couple hours, whatever was happening. He finally was having like full blown, like, you know, we were at a restaurant and I'm like, so, you know, if I was home, I would have been praying with him, hugging him, that helps. And, um, it, you know, I just like, rises and then leaves getting control over your body is all we're doing and getting victory after it's called glory to glory to glory getting the victory one and then you you know write them down I used to suffer from this now I don't what did I do apply that to the next thing and whatever else and cancer and all that stuff is no harder to get rid of nor paralysis these things are going to become more common we're going to get rid of them because Jesus paid for it for us to get rid of and he it's all available and we're just dealing with lies so I hope that helps some of you go to my healing room and uh, explore and let the Holy Spirit teach you in the name of Jesus thanks